Mummy's lap while I film the video. There I go, I go. Okay. Come on, Okay. Should mummy talk? Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm really sorry that we haven't posted in a while and so I just wanted to come in here and jump in and do a quick update and let you know what's been happening. We haven't been on social media for almost a month now and I know that that's not very long for some people, but we've had a few people asking where we've been. No, mommy, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Very real life trying to film a YouTube video with a toddler. So I just wanted to jump in here, give a really quick update on where we've been and what's been happening. We've had some pretty major decisions happening in our lives over the last three or four weeks. So we did decide to switch off social media for a little while because we really wanted to focus on our family and focus on making the right decisions for our family at the time. So as you guys know, we've been on the road for almost 10 months now, traveling around Australia in our self-converted van. We've gone all the way from Sydney, down the East Coast, around Tassie, and then literally we've followed the actual coastline around um, all the way up to Carnarvon, so which is about eight hours north of Perth. Overall, we've covered about 40,000 kilometers in the van, so we've done a lot. We've been on the road, yeah, for nine months, almost for half of Flynn's life, um, and we've had such an amazing time. We've had a really, really great time. We've absolutely loved sharing um, our trip and everything that's gone along with the traveling um, in a self-converted van with a toddler, everything like that. So firstly, thank you so much to everyone for your kind words and your support. <laughs> Dry your hair. Is that a dinosaur? Is there a dinosaur on your belly? Don't touch. <laughs> So as you can probably see, I'm not in the van at the moment. I do have a tiny toddler with me. Oh. oh, good job. So as you can see, obviously I'm not in the van at the moment. I do have a tiny toddler with me. Cam is approximately 4,000 kilometers away from us in the van. So a few weeks ago, a couple of things happened in quite close proximity. As you guys probably know, we have a business that we run from the road, which has enabled us to travel for the last nine or 10 months. Um, and that has been absolutely amazing. One of the aspects of my business is um, that I do is actually consulting. So I did actually get an offer about three or four weeks ago for some work back in Sydney. And Sydney is actually where our family and friends are. So that was something that we absolutely started to consider. So we did start to consider that as much as we had planned to keep driving north and go all the way around the top of Australia. Um, yeah, it was a really good consulting offer. And so, yeah, so that's something that we did start to consider. So at the same time that I got offered some work back in Sydney, um, we also realized that there was a part on the engine that we needed to get repaired. Um, ever since we put our last video up um, uh, talking about the bed conversion that we did, we've actually had a lot of people inquire about potentially purchasing our van from us. A lot of those inquiries are coming from the East Coast. And what we realized is if we were serious about potentially selling our van so that we are able to upgrade to a bus, we would potentially have to be back on the East Coast so it was easier for people to come see it. So yeah, so that along with the opportunity for some work back in Sydney was definitely a motivating factor. So aside from bringing it, bringing it back to the East Coast um, so there were more opportunities to sell it, we do have to get a few things fine-tuned and tweaked. Really? So we do have to get a few things fine-tuned and tweaked to make it absolutely perfect and ready for sale. And we just thought it would be better to come back to the mechanics that we know, that know the van, that we really trust um, just to make it sure it's all absolutely perfect for the next person that wants to buy or for us to keep traveling in it. So all of these things kind of started to happen at once. Like I said, we have been on the road for almost 10 months now with a very active toddler who has recently found his voice. 
I think aside from the fact that all of these things were lining up, we definitely thought, you know, maybe it was time just to have a break from the van, not to move out of the van, but just the constant traveling. Um, it was getting a little bit tiring. Like I said, 40,000 kilometers in nine or 10 months is a lot of driving. So we were just a little bit tired and yeah, definitely looking forward to having a bit of a break, being closer to family and friends. We're just really excited to be back. So Flynn and I actually caught the red eye from Perth to Sydney because when we made the decision, we just wanted to get back here. And like I said, I had um, work opportunities that I kind of needed to be in Sydney for. So Cam is actually doing the long trek back all the way from Carnarvon to Sydney. So that is about a, I think he said it was about like 5,000 kilometers straight. It's definitely 4,000. It's definitely 4,000 kilometers from Perth to Sydney. So he is making that journey himself. He's doing absolutely amazing job. It's a huge drive when you are by yourself. And I am in Sydney with this tiny terror, um, staying with some family and friends. So really excited that we are home. We are definitely gonna still be living in the van until um, we either buy a bus or someone sells it. We're absolutely still gonna be living in the van while we are, while I do have some work opportunities here and as does Cam. So. We're still gonna be living the van life. I just wanted to jump in and give you a quick update and again say thank you so much for everyone that's reached out. We know that we are super active on social media and when you go off for like three or four weeks, it's beautiful to know that people notice and that they do care. So thank you so much everyone to, for your support. We are very, very grateful and we are definitely gonna keep sharing our story with you. We actually have a super exciting project that we will be talking about in our next videos. It is something that we think is going to absolutely change the van life community and make van life accessible to so many more people. And yeah, we're really excited to share that with you. So thank you so much for bearing with us and yeah, we will see you in the next video. Bye.